Hey everybody. We're going to look at triangular numbers and square numbers and we're going to do some work with dot diagrams to prove some, uh, some fundamental facts about triangular numbers and square numbers. Uh, first of all, let's define what a triangular number is. For all natural numbers n, the nth triangular number, denoted t sub n, is the number of dots used in constructing a right isosceles triangle, which consists of n rows and n columns of dots. The first row, or first column, contains one dot, and each succeeding row or column contains one more dot than its predecessor. The nth row, the last row, or the nth column contains n dots. So let's do a few examples here. This is a right isosceles triangle consisting of one row and one column. It has one dot. So t sub 1 equals 1, the first triangular number. Uh, let's pick a, a better one. Well, no. Let's just work inductively. Not better, just uh, more illuminating as we go on. Okay, the first row or first column has one dot, and then each succeeding row has one dot more than its predecessor. So row one, row two. This triangle contains three dots, so that's the second triangular number. Uh, let's do at least one more example. There's row one, column one, has one dot. Here's row two, has two dots. Here's row three. It has three dots. Also note, column one, one dot, column two, two dots, column three, three dots. Okay. Our third triangular number has one plus two plus three is six dots. So the third triangular number is six and so on. Now if we were to continue this and uh, construct our fourth triangular number, uh, we'd have a row of four dots down here and that means our fourth triangular number would be six plus the four dots down here, ten. Okay. Now, let's define square numbers. For all natural numbers n, the nth square number, denoted s sub n, is the number of dots used in constructing a square consisting of n rows and n columns, each of which contains n dots. So we have a square made out of n rows of dots, uh, n rows of n dots, or n columns of n dots. So the nth square number clearly is n squared. Let's look at a few examples. Here is s sub 1. It consists of one row and one column of dots. So the first square number is 1. Okay. Now we have two rows each of two dots, or two columns each of two dots. So this is our second square number, four dots total. And we'll do one more, one, two, three. Uh, 
we have three rows of three dots each or three columns one two three of three dots each this is our third triangular number s sub three and that equals nine so these are our triangular and square numbers now our first example Use dot diagrams to show that the sum of two consecutive triangular numbers is a square number. Uh, specifically, t sub n minus 1 plus t sub n equals s sub n. Well, let's see. Since we have t sub n minus 1, I guess we need to start with the case where n equals 2 first. So here we have n equal 2, and I'm going to draw a square, two rows of two dots or two columns, and then I'm going to make two triangles out of this. And look what I have. I have T sub 2, the second triangular number represented here. And up here I have T sub 1, the first triangular number. So I have S sub 2 is equal to t sub 1 plus t sub 2. Okay, that checks. Let me try one more example. And I'll do a square with three rows and three columns of dots. So let's see, we have three rows and we have three columns, three, three horizontal rows, three vertical columns. So this is S sub 3. Now we're going to split this up into two triangles. This one is an equilateral isosceles triangle with two rows, so this is T sub 2. This one is an equilateral right triangle consisting of three rows. This is T sub 3. Uh, clearly, we put T sub 2 plus T sub 3 together, we get a 3 by 3 square S sub 3. So S sub 3 is equal to T sub 2 plus T sub 3. Now let's just uh, generalize this a little bit. Here we have n vertical columns, each containing n dots each. And I'm going to do this. Let's see if this is n columns, 
this is n minus 1 rows and if I include this last row here that will give me n rows so I have n rows each with n dots I have n vertical columns each with n dots so clearly this is s sub n and I'm going to split it up into two triangles just the way we did before And guess what? This upper triangle is an isosceles right triangle that has four rows, four columns. So this is the fourth triangle. Oh, I'm sorry. I was generalizing this, wasn't I? The upper, right tr the upper triangle is an isosceles right triangle that has one row less and one column less than this entire square so this is going to be the n minus first triangular number and this triangle right here uh, has all n rows and it has all n columns so it's an isosceles right triangle with n rows and n columns. This is T sub n. And we take the n minus first triangular number, the nth triangular number, put them together, and we get a square containing n dots. We get the nth triangular number. So T sub n minus 1 plus T sub n is t sub n minus 1 plus t sub n is the nth square number. Huh. A new project. Use dot diagrams to show that the sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. So in the general case 1 plus 3 plus 5 dot 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 plus the nth odd number is equal to n squared. That's what we want to show using our dot diagrams. So we'll do the simplest case first. One dot. So here we have the first square number and it equals the sum of one number, the first odd number. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's modify this a little bit. And I'm going to use a colored pen uh, just to sort of emphasize a pattern that I'm going to be working on. Uh, here we do have two rows and two columns of dots. So yes, this is S sub 2 and this first dot represents 1. Now, these red dots, I'm going to group them all together. This backward L sort of shape. And this set of red dots contains three dots. 
So here's what we get. 1 plus 3 equals 2 squared, which is s sub 2. Okay. Onward and upward. Let's try a, a configuration with three dots across and three dots down, three rows, three columns. Now clearly we have three rows and three columns of dots. This is S sub 3. And I'm going to pull the same trick that I did before. All of the red dots will group together. And we'll group this set of blue dots together. This one dot by its lonesome, that's 1. These three red dots, that's 3. And these five dots, if we add them all up, we get 9, which is 3 squared, which is s sub 3. And now maybe one more example. Four rows, four dots, And alternately, we make these blue and red. And we'll connect dots of the same color. Now we have four rows of four dots each. This is S sub 4. This one dot is one. Then we have three dots. Then we have five dots. And then we have four plus three is seven dots. And what does that get us? 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 7 is 16, which is 4 squared, which is S sub 4. So the sum of the first four odd numbers, S sub 4. Okay. Now let's see if we can... Uh, prove the general case consider the n by n square of n dots and this guy is just by his lonesome self that's one these three red dots we connect plus 3. These five blue dots we connect plus 5 plus dot 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 plus. Okay, now let's see what we have here. Uh, remember this is an n by n square of dots. So this is n rows 
and this is n minus 1 columns. Yeah, there is an n in column, Pat. Okay, now why didn't I extend this all the way over here and say n columns? Because this dot, I don't want to count it twice. So, I have how many of these? There are n rows, so there are n dots. And I'm not going to count this guy twice. So now I have these n minus 1 dots. So that gives us 2n minus 1. So how many dots are there? There are 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus 2n minus 1. That is the sum of the first n odd numbers. And this was an n by n square of dots, right? So this is s sub n. And I'll write s sub n down here for emphasis. Yeah, we started out with a square of n rows and n columns of dots. So this is S sub n. Uh, 